Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. We have a loaded out CF Moto Z Force 950 HO Sport. And uh, we've got this thing decked out with all the CF Moto Genuine accessories. I'll do a walk around video of all of this towards the end of this video. But what we're going to do starting out is we're going to show you how to install the particle separator that is made specifically for this Z Force. So hopefully you can take this video, follow along, and be able to install it yourself at your home. Uh, if not, you can just simply watch this video, see how it works. And if you're interested in having that for your Z Force, you can order that from MainStreetCycle.com and let the guys here install it. Or like I said, we're gonna make it easy for you so you can install it yourself. All right, what we got, Mr. Joel? First thing to take this up, three five millimeter Allen heads. All right. And that is your air intake. A 10 millimeter bolt holds this pipe. Okay. We're gonna do away with this. All right, so this is just gonna be removed and pretty much relocated to go up through a hole here, I'm assuming. Yeah, it's gonna go right through there. Okay. And then the cap will go back on it when we're done. Move the passenger seat. Removing the passenger seat. That's nice, I like how easily those come out. And then take the four screws out that hold this panel, not the two, and pull the ECU cover off, but the whole thing. Head screws. So Joel's going through the access back here and loosening up. Was that a hose clamp? Yeah. All right. So just take that, that out. Clamp. Okay. Good deal. And that goes right on directly on the side of the air box. You can see it now. Right there. So that was connected right to the side of the air box, like Joel said. Now this is going to clamp directly back where that was. Okay, right this onto big, the air this box. This will be out. Yeah, this okay. is going the air box. Okay. Beautiful. All right, so that's done. Now we got to drill a big old hole. All right, so to cut our hole here. Uh, you just simply want to get center of this plastic panel area uh, near the stock intake and just make a mark there. It don't have to be 100% precise on this part, but Joe's going to make his mark and we're going to make our hole here. Cut all the way through. That thing Beautiful. All right, so that's going to make a bit of a mess, but if you notice, one technique is to go in reverse to make you a nice smooth groove and then put it back uh, to digging in clockwise so that way you can cut through the plastic. We'll clean that up and move on to the next step. This will simply protect the hose over time. All right, so now we're gonna feed this giant intake hose through the hole that you made. you enough slack in there to fit back onto the fitting that we installed earlier onto the side of your air box. And there's a hose clamp there and we'll simply clamp that hose down around that 
and then bring the rest of it out and you'll see in the next step where we hook up to the particle separator. Again, I can't really get in there with the camera and show you, but that's where he's putting the hose clamp onto the fitting. So tighten that down, get that how you want it, and then we'll run the rest up here. Now we're going to simply take our mounting clamps here for the particle separator intake. Take one mount to the top here. That's that mud exhaust on that 600. All right, so that's going to be a standard size here, 1 8 on those Allen heads. And Joel hadn't tightened them up. He's just getting them close, and then we'll line everything up here in just a moment before we tighten it down. All right, so we're supposed to get these clamps here on the top an eight and a quarter apart from each other. So Joel's just simply getting that lined up, and then he'll tighten it down. Spacers go there. Oh, spacers and then go into that. With everything loose. Oh yeah. Then you can move the clamp stuff right here loose to move that however it needs to go. Right there is good. Yep. Now I'm going to start tightening everything there. Looking good there. So Joel's just going to tighten it all that up in place. We're happy with that spot there. And then we'll get our hose and hose clamp and put the uh, hose into the bottom here. We'll show you that. But while we're doing that, Mr. Harmon's been over here on this 950 and installing the dual exhaust from RJWC, and that exhaust sounds amazing. So anyways, you can get that right here at Main Street Cycle. Go to MainStreetCycle.com. We have plenty in stock to ship out to you today. And this, again, of course, is allowing without air restriction because of the, you know, you're taking this stock intake off there and now you've got that big hose so there's no restrictions in the airflow and you're adding more protection with this particle separator you can think of it as a, a pre-filter if you will collects a lot of particles before it gets to your actual air filter here so just more protection for the engine so it lasts longer gets that air intake up higher as well Man, that's not easy. a snorkel though. Yeah, it's not a snorkel kit now. Don't don't think of it that way. You still got a, uh, your CVT that is still down low, your inlet and your uh, outlet. So don't go submerge this thing after that. That's not what this is for. We have snorkel kits for that. But now I like it. Does the box still work? Yep. Shoot, yeah. That is awesome. So the CF Moto storage box still works and fits. There's no, uh, the pipe isn't squeezed or anything. It's got, it's got movement, so it's not like it's pinching it off in anywhere. That is nice. So now we'll simply put uh, the stock intake back on, but it's just more for cosmetic reasons now. It's not actually being used anymore. And that's going to complete the installation. Not bad. Very easy. Something that you can do and install yourself. You just got to make sure you have a four inch hole saw. But also, I told you I'd do a walk around. We've got the CF Moto mirrors. Got the CF Moto half windshield. The CF Moto lower doors. Also the Nerf bars or rock sliders got the CF Moto storage box, the particle separator, CF Moto radio. What else we got, Joe? We got a front bumper, CF Moto front bumper. We're about to replace this uh, winch cable with the CF Moto synthetic rope. 
Of course, these tires and wheels are not factory. That's from Main Street Cycle. Got MSA wheels, 14s with 32 inch rock tanes. Oh my gosh, I'm an idiot. 32 inch carnivores, one of Joel's favorites. And we've got the CF Moto rear bumper and the hitch. So, I mean, the only thing left that you could do, really, I mean, you can't do it with the particle separator. You'd have to pick or choose. Or there is alternate mounting locations for the particle separator. You got to get creative with that. And you could still use your rear glass from CF Moto. Uh, but we chose to do it this way. And, of course, you can get full windshields. You can get a center mirror. But uh, other than that, it's pretty much loaded out. Of course, you can also go with some MSC products like the MSC Tune for the Z Force HO. You know that that makes a massive difference from the factory setup. And also, a Stage 3 trail kit from MSC would be perfect for this setup as well. So, anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And maybe you can install that particle separator on yours or if there's any accessories that you see here that you would like you can order that from mainstreetcycle.com get it shipped right to your door and we have installation videos on these different products through throughout my channel just go back and search that and you can take it step by step install it yourself at home but anyways hope y'all enjoyed it don't forget you can also get your exhaust like mr harman's been over here installing on this one, the RJWC exhaust. And we've got more options than just that dual. But anyways, say bye everybody. Bye everybody. <laughs> All right, we'll see y'all on the next one. Hey, and also if, if you're brave enough and you want Joel to drive you with you in this seat with these stirrups here, uh, that would be something to see. Comment down in the comment section if you think you'd be brave enough to ride back there with Joel driving. I don't know. Anyways. God bless you. As always, remember to keep it real. We'll see you in the next one.